What I do is incredibly important to me because I know the absolute value of feeling beautiful to a woman. I know that it's not just about her physical appearance. It can be a soul deep identity. I know that when you don't feel that way, it can be something that just rocks you to your core. I did not, I was not the pretty girl growing up. I was the funny friend. I was the comedic relief. I was not someone who resonated with or identified with being the popular pretty person. Um, I looked at models, I think I had every picture of Giselle Bundchen that was ever in vogue, torn out and in a folder somewhere. I was just so mesmerized by models and by that entire world. Um, I suffered abuse for many years as a child um, and that trauma led to 15 years of eating disorders and I just had so much ugliness that I struggled with so many years of weight that did this, so much shame from that. And when I, when I did get in front of a camera, when I did get in front of a photographer, there were so many times when I was shamed, when, when um, either verbally by somebody, I was, I was told ugly things about my nose, I was shown the back of a camera and told that I should fix things, um, just awful things, things that should never be told to someone. Why would, you, why would you do that? Why would you try to break someone down like that? There were times when I was just horrified when I, I would get ready and I, I felt good about myself going into a photo shoot only to get pictures back and just see the worst parts of myself magnified. And when I started shooting portraits, I knew, I didn't know what I wanted to be, but I knew exactly what I didn't want to be. I knew exactly who I didn't want to be. I knew what I wanted to be for women and that was the opposite of everything that I had experienced. I wanted to be empowering. I wanted to be strong. I wanted to be someone who made the person on the other side of the camera just feel beautiful. And I say all of that to you, not to say that I am in that place anymore. I am strong, I am built up, I have a business I'm proud of, a life that I'm proud of. There is this, this concept in Japan that I just, I love so much um, called kintsugi. And it's this idea that when pottery is broken, instead of discarding it, they repair it with gold. Um, I've seen a few interpretations of really what this means, but the idea, the idea that I have always resonated with is that it could be beautifully broken, that it didn't have to be perfect. You can still see beauty in something in, in spite of its imperfections. I see that when I look in the mirror. Um, for some people, if you hear stories of you know, child abuse or whatever, you know that can be something you're like, oh, that's so horrible for other people. It's like, oh, it's nothing compared to my childhood. It's not. It's not, a, it's not a comparison game. Life is hard for everyone in some way, shape, or form, but my story, my, my own struggles, are why I am so compassionate towards women. It's why I can resonate so much towards any woman who walks in my door. It doesn't matter whether she is a model who is insecure about the shape of her ear, which has happened before, or a woman who is 100 pounds overweight, who has not been in front of a camera in 15 years, which has also happened before. I understand. I understand from the deepest soul, soul weary part of me because I have absolutely been there. I do what I do because I care so damn much about the women who stand in front of my camera. So what I do is, is business, absolutely. It, I mean, it has to be. Um, photography is expensive and, and you have to run a studio, but I do it because I love what I do. And that's why I'm a portrait photographer.